Charles the Bald the 13th of June 823 to the 6th of October 877 was the king of West Francia 843 to 877 king of Italy 875 to 877 and Holy Roman Emperor 875 to 877 as Charles the 2nd after a series of civil wars during the reign of his father, Louis the Pious, Charles succeeded by the Treaty of Verdun 843 in acquiring the western third of the Carolingian Empire. He was a grandson of Charlemagne and the youngest son of Louis the Pious by his second wife, Judith. <laughs> <laughs> Struggle against his brothers He was born on 13 June 823 in Frankfurt, when his elder brothers were already adults and had been assigned their own regna, or sub-kingdoms, by their father. The attempts made by Louis the Pious to assign Charles a sub-kingdom, first Alemannia and then the country between the Meuse and the Pyrenees in 832, after the rising of Pepin I of Aquitaine were unsuccessful. The numerous reconciliations with the rebellious Lothair and Pepin, as well as their brother Louis the German, King of Bavaria, made Charles's share in Aquitaine and Italy only temporary, but his father did not give up and made Charles the heir of the entire land which was once Gaul. At a diet in Aachen in 837, Louis the Pious bade the nobles do homage to Charles as his heir. Pepin of Aquitaine died in 838, whereupon Charles at last received that kingdom, which angered Pepin's heirs and the Aquitanian nobles. The death of the emperor in 840 led to the outbreak of war between his sons. Charles allied himself with his brother Louis the German to resist the pretensions of the new emperor Lothair I, and the two allies defeated Lothair at the Battle of Fontenoy and Puisay on 25 June 841. In the following year, the two brothers confirmed their alliance by the celebrated Oaths of Strasbourg. The war was brought to an end by the Treaty of Verdun in August 843. The settlement gave Charles the Bald the Kingdom of the West Franks, which he had been up until then governing and which practically corresponded with what is now France, as far as the Meuse, the Saone, and the Rhône, with the addition of the Spanish March as far as the Ebro, Louis received the eastern part of the Carolingian Empire, known then as East Francia and later as Germany. Lothair retained the imperial title and the Kingdom of Italy. He also received the central regions from Flanders through the Rhineland and Burgundy as King of Middle Francia. <laughs> Reign in the West The first years of Charles's reign, up to the death of Lothair I in 855, were comparatively peaceful. During these years, the three brothers continued the system of confraternal government", meeting repeatedly with one another, at Koblenz 848, at Meersen 851, and at Attigny 854. In 858, Louis the German, invited by disaffected nobles eager to oust Charles, invaded the West Frankish kingdom. Charles was so unpopular that he was unable to summon an army, and he fled to Burgundy. He was saved only by the support of the bishops, who refused to crown Louis the German king, and by the fidelity of the Welfs, who were related to his mother, Judith. In 860, he in his turn tried to seize the kingdom of his nephew, Charles of Provence, but was repulsed. On the death of his nephew Lothair II in 869, Charles tried to seize Lothair's dominions by having himself consecrated as king of Lotharingia at Metz, but he was compelled to open negotiations when Louis found support among Lothair's former vassals. Lotharingia was partitioned between Charles and Louis in the resulting treaty 870. Besides these family disputes, Charles had to struggle against repeated rebellions in Aquitaine and against the Bretons. Led by their chiefs Nomino and Erispoi, who defeated the king at the Battle of Balin 845 and the Battle of Jengland 851, the Bretons were successful in obtaining a de facto independence. Charles also fought against the Vikings, who devastated the country of the north, the valleys of the Seine and Loire, and even up to the borders of Aquitaine. At the Vikings' successful siege and sack of Paris in 845 and several times thereafter Charles was forced to purchase their retreat at a heavy price. Charles led various expeditions against the invaders and, by the Edict of Pasteurs of 864, made the army more mobile by providing for a cavalry element, the predecessor of the French chivalry so famous during the next 600 years. By the same edict, he ordered fortified bridges to be put up at all rivers to block the Viking incursions. Two of these bridges at Paris saved the city during its siege of 885-886.
<laughs> Reign as emperor In 875, after the death of the Emperor Louis II, son of his half brother Lothair, Charles the Bald, supported by Pope John VIII, traveled to Italy, receiving the royal crown at Pavia and the imperial insignia in Rome on the 29th of December. Louis the German, also a candidate for the succession of Louis II, revenged himself by invading and devastating Charles's dominions, and Charles had to return hastily to West Francia. After the death of Louis the German, the 28th of August 876, Charles in his turn attempted to seize Louis's kingdom, but was decisively beaten at the Battle of Andernach on the 8th of October 876. In the meantime, John VIII, menaced by the Saracens, was urging Charles to come to his defense in Italy. Charles again crossed the Alps, but this expedition was received with little enthusiasm by the nobles and even by his regent in Lombardy, Boso, and they refused to join his army. At the same time Carloman, son of Louis the German, entered northern Italy. Charles, ill and in great distress, started on his way back to Gaul, but died while crossing the pass of Mont Cenis at Brides les Bains, on 6 October 877. According to the Annals of St. Burton, Charles was hastily buried at the Abbey of Nantua, Burgundy because the bearers were unable to withstand the stench of his decaying body. He was to have been buried in the Basilique Saint Denis and may have been transferred there later. It was recorded that there was a memorial brass there that was melted down at the Revolution. Charles was succeeded by his son, Louis. Charles was a prince of education and letters, a friend of the church, and conscious of the support he could find in the episcopate against his unruly nobles, for he chose his counselors from among the higher clergy, as in the case of Gwenolyn of Sens, who betrayed him, and of Hincmar of Reims. Baldness. It has been suggested that Charles's nickname was used ironically and not descriptively, i.e. that he was not in fact bald, but rather that he was extremely hairy. An alternative or additional interpretation is based on Charles's initial lack of a regnum. Bald would in this case be a tongue-in-cheek reference to his landlessness, at an age where his brothers already had been sub-kings for some years. Contemporary depictions of his person, e.g. in his Bible of 845, on his seal of 847 as king as well as on his seal of 875 as emperor show him with a full head of hair, as does the equestrian statuette c. 870 thought to depict him. The Genealogy of Frankish Kings, a text from Fontenelle dating from possibly as early as 869, and a text without a trace of irony, names him as Carolus Calvus, Charles the Bald. Certainly, by the end of the 10th century, Richier of Reims and Adhemar of Chabans refer to him in all seriousness as Charles the Bald. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Marriages and Children. Charles married Ermintrude, daughter of Odo I, Count of Orléans, in 842. She died in 869. In 870, Charles married Richild of Provence, who was descended from a noble family of Lorraine. With Ermintrude, Judith c. 843 after 866, married first King Ethelwolf of Wessex, second his son King Ethelbald, and third Baldwin I, Margrave of Flanders, Louis the Stammerer 846 to 879 Charles the Child 847 to 866 Lothair the Lame 848 to 866 monk in 861 became abbot of Saint Germain Carloman 849 to 876 Retrude 852 to 912 a nun abbess of Saint Radegunde Ermintrud 854 to 877, a nun, abbess of Hasnon. Hildegard, born 856, died young. Gisela 857 to 874. Godhilda 864 to 907 with Richild. Rothiel 871 to 929, married firstly to Hugh, count of Borges and secondly to Roger. Drogo 872 to 873 Pippin 873 to 874 A son born and died 875 Charles 876 to 877 Topic Ancestry
Topic See also First Bible of Charles the Bald Crown of Charlemagne Capitularies of Charles the Bald Angleram, Chamberlain of France Notes